name is Vikram. Uh, today in the class, we will discuss about hypothesis. So let's write down some basic definitions of hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Hypothesis is basically uh, an assumption or a guess or a claim or a statement made about the population. Okay, so there is one more definition to it. Uh, it is also referred to as an assumption or a guess or a claim or a statement that is made in order to get a solution for a problem at hand. Okay, so let's try to understand this particular definition with an example. Uh, we all know what an e-com web page is. E-com web page could be anything like a Flipkart or a Amazon or it could be a Dell web page or it could be an HV web page, right? Let's assume that the traffic to the web page is very low. Traffic means the number of people who are coming to the web page is very low. Traffic is very low, right? So this is basically an example which I'm trying to give in order to explain uh, the above definition that we have here. Right. Let's 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 assume that the traffic to the web page is very low. Right. So this this basically forms the problem at hand. Right. Which means that uh, it is not good for my business. Right. So I will try to find a solution for the problem. Right. Um, so one of the guesses which people might make is that uh, probably we have to redesign the web page. Right. Uh, let's uh, you know work and then find a way to redesign it. Right. Redesign. I'm sorry, like, you know, I think I'm writing it wrong. Yeah. Uh, so we need to redesign the web page, right? So that's probably uh, redesign. Yeah, redesign the web page. Right. So that could be one of the solutions, you know, which could help in addressing the above, tra above problem. Uh, the, one of the reasons could be that uh, probably it is not user friendly and then people are finding it difficult to navigate, and uh, that could be another reason. and you know, because of that, people are not willing to come back, right? And then, like, you know, surf the web pages, right? Uh, so, because of that, the traffic is very low and it is decreasing day by day, right? So, you will try to redesign it, make it user friendly, right? That's one of the solutions which you can propose, right? But we are not sure exactly what is the solution, right? You know, it could be some of the uh, problem also, probably the content itself is not good, or it could be that the product is not, you know, meeting the demands and meeting the requirement of the people who are coming there. Right. That could be any other reason also, but we're not sure. But one of the reasons which I'm guessing is redesign the web page. Right. So I brought in the word called guess. Right. So this redesigning of the web page is also a guess. Right. Which I'm making. So look here, like, you know, I brought in the term problem. I brought in the term solution. I brought in the term guess. Right. And all these things I'm doing it to get a solution to address a wider problem which I have about the population. Population is going to be like, you know, the whole of the web page that I'm talking about. Right, you know, it could be uh, a huge web page. I could have about thousands of web pages, right, you know, in my company uh, company website, right. And uh, so if you, if, you, if you compare this example with what we have written above, we see that there is a problem coming in, right. So here we have problem, here we have solution, and then here we have guess. Right. So what I'm trying to do here is that I'm hypothesizing or I'm trying to guess a solution for the problem that I have. Right. By saying that by redesigning my web page, I will end up having more traffic coming into my web page. Right. I'm not sure about it. Right. But still I'm making a guess. Right. Now, just because I'm making a guess, right, do you think that the company management will go out and implement it saying that, yeah, I'm going to give you so much amount of resource. I'm going to give you so much amount of money. Go out and redesign the web page. No, they will definitely not do it. Right. You know, they will try to test it. Right. If my claim is true or not. Right. Based on that, based on the test results, they will go out and implement it. Right. Probably what they will do is that they will probably split the traffic into two different segments, like 80% traffic, which will, which will go to the existing web page. And then 20% of the traffic will be coming to the new page, which I am designing. Right. And then both these things will be made to run in parallel for about, say, like, you know, one or two months. 
right? It depends on the company's call and then based on the performance, right? They will take a decision. If this new page is doing good, right? If the performance and if more people start coming in, if there is more traffic which is coming in, then this gets implemented for the rest of the 80% that I have. This is a normal strategy which company adopts, right? Wherein like, you know, there will be a claim which has been made, right? People will test it. They will test if that claim is holding good or not. If the test, if, they, if, if, it, if it holds good, then they go and implement to the wider population or they project it for the wider population, right? So the same concept that I've explained here is, is, is what hypothesis testing is all about. Right, so this particular thing which I'm guessing, right, is I'm not sure if it is true or not, so it has to be tested. Right, how do I test it? There is a concept called hypothesis testing which comes into picture. Right, so so let me uh, again like tell you what this is all about. Hypothesis is nothing but a claim or a guess, an intelligent guess which I'm making. Right, I'm making, I'm making a guess about the population, right, and I'm trying to find a solution for the problem that I have. Right, so this is what an hypothesis is all about. Right now, uh, there are a few other definitions. Right, if you go to the Wikipedia, you will find a few other definitions. But I found that these are the simple definitions, so that I brought in here. Okay, uh, so there are a few more pointers that you need to understand about hypothesis. Right, I told you that it is basically a, uh, a claim which I'm making. Right, so basically, understand that these are important pointers that you need to remember about hypothesis. One is hypothesis is always about the population you never hypothesis anything for the sample right so the population is going to be really huge right and you will not be able to measure it you will not be able to do an experiment on it and then you will not be able to find a result right so what you do is that you take a sample right and then use that sample and then you try to infer certain things for the population right that's how things work, 